Hello everyone and welcome to Detention. But don't worry, it's not quite that bad. Detention is actually a new release on Steam right now, and it promises to be a 2D point-and-click adventure game with horror elements set inside a Taiwanese school in, I believe, the 1960s when they were under martial law. So that might be a really cool dynamic. But yes, that does mean once again we'll be delving into another Asian culture and mythology, but uh, it's not Indonesia, <laughs> it's not Japan, it's not Thailand, it's Taiwan and China this time. So it might be really, really different, who knows. Um, as for if this is going to be a series or not, I'm not entirely sure. I guess it really depends on what you guys think of it. So at the end of the video, if you just want to give me your thoughts in the comments or like or dislike the video, that gives me a good indication of if you want to see more. All right. Hope you enjoy it. Here we go. He's just given up. Ms. Yin, have you seen this list before? <laughs> you slept through the whole class. Did you fall asleep? Yes, you did. This is strange. Where is everybody? How come nobody's here? Is that the main character? Is that who I have to play? A typhoon alert? There shouldn't be any typhoons this time of year. What's going on here? I don't know, maybe it's time to wake up and find out. Okay. Oh, I see, let's see. Okay, so much like other 2D point-and-click adventure games, it seems we've got some items down on the bottom. Nothing on the top, at least, you know, not yet. So, uh, what do we got down here? Um, a notebook, I guess? We've got the school motto and rules. The first thing in orientation was to memorize the school motto and rules. All that, be honest, be brave, be loyal, be frugal stuff. And making sure you know it was Principal Mr. Shen who had established these foundations for us. There you go, okay. Oh, there's something else, the school anthem. Great. It actually has a decent melody. The lyrics, however, feel like another one of those propagandas promoting patriotism. I'm sure, I'm sure. We don't get a direct translation, but I'm sure it was uh, very, very catchy. Okay, so we just got those two things. Notes. Okay, I guess those were the notes. And that's how we leave. Alright. So, yeah. So there's a typhoon. That's why it's raining, I guess. Uh, yep, let's take a look at this. I guess that's what that eye means. Yeah, typhoon alert. I thought the weather was quite nice during history class. Or well, before you went to sleep, you mean. Okay, light switch there. We can't play with the lights. We can use the door, um, and I'm sure I will. Let's have a look outside. Sound of howling wind. Typhoon must be getting close. <laughs> I love that everyone just left you there asleep. What's this? There's a note on the table. Where did Miss Yin go? That's a good question. Ah, there you go. Whoever was passing this note in class was worried about Miss Yin. Miss Yin keeps calling in sick lately. That's weird. No kidding. Man, I hate those other subs they send in. Alright. Neat. And that was, that was it, was it? Yeah, we go back onto the school anthem. So this is where everything I pick up gets collected. Neat. Yeah, I'll put it in my notebook. And there it is down there. Well, since we found, you know, some paper on one of the desks... we got another drawer on this side. Does that work? <laughs> yep, apparently so. Alright. Uh, let's go back in. Yeah, I think I, I missed this, didn't I? It's the bulletin board. The holidays are the only thing I pay attention to. Marked on the calendar are the daily and weekly quizzes. Midterm exams, final exams. Reading this is giving me a headache. Uh, fair enough. Well, we know this door opens, so uh, let's use it. Right, um... What do we do? What do we do? What are we, uh... What are these? Toilets? <laughs> yeah! 
I knew it. Uh, girls' restroom. I shouldn't be going in there. Okay, what about the men's? Looks like it's just symmetrical. I don't have to use the restroom. Really? All this rain, you don't need to pee or anything? That's fine. Uh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. So we can go up and we can go down. I suppose what we're going to do is, um, is go down. Look at that sign. Okay, so this isn't completely 2D. There are actually some things that sort of stick out. This is like 2.5D. That's a nice little effect there. Right, uh... So that's just going in the other way. Yeah, fair enough. I think we've examined pretty much everything in here, haven't we? Alright, let's leave. Let's see if we can find someone else. What's this? Oh, this is our class schedule. Did I sleep through all the afternoon classes? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, something very strange happened. What's this? Well, it's not the front gate, so uh, we're not using that. That door's locked. Okay. Uh, what's this? A piece of paper lies on the windowsill. Sketch of the old banyan tree. Oh, there you go, okay. An old sketch of what looks like the banyan tree in the school. There seems to be a figure underneath. Right. Okay. Seems to be wearing a hat. Is it, um, instructed by, by any chance? Maybe, maybe. Let's just keep going. Let's try this door as well. That door is also locked. Okay. Um, well, he wants to get to the front gate, right? So I guess we want to go down. So far, so good, honestly. It's kind of reminding me of, um, well, the game I recently played, Octave, and the Cat Lady in Downfall, just based on the character animations and stuff. It's pretty nice. Oh, this is the principal's office. Right. Well, I did fall asleep during all the afternoon classes. Maybe I should just walk in and, and fess up. Oh, but that's locked as well. Oh, never mind. Okay, can we actually have a look inside? Some of the most valuable stuff is in there. Including the only telephone we have in school. Oh, man. All right. Ooh. Something we can pick up? It's a pot for growing daffodils. Only one of them still hanging in there. And you're going to rip it out? No. No, there's something in the dirt. Dig it out. Uh, yeah. An old photograph. Okay, I, I really like this already, I have to say. Uh, can't tell who's in the picture. There is a quote written on it. The roots below the earth claim no rewards for making the branches fruitful. Ah, okay. So that, that might be like a knock on the class system or something. Like, I don't know, factory bosses are praised more than factory workers. Ah, they closed the roll-up door. That's the only route to the front gate. I've got to figure out a way to open it. Okay. What's this? It's the control panel for it. Right. Open it? Absolutely. We want to get this rolled back up, don't we? What's going on? It's a mechanical winch. There are instructions on the cover. Right, yeah, I can sort of see them. I think I need a hand crank. i got a notebook. I don't have a hand crank right now. Uh... Ah, fair enough. Um, what's this room? I don't know. But it isn't locked. Oh, shit. What is that? Hmm, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a body hung up. Is that for the light? No. Oh, it's just like muddy overalls or something and a mop head. <laughs> and what's this? Oh, this is it. This is the hand crack. There you go, then. Okay. I think that was pretty much the only thing in color as well, so maybe that's a good way to determine what you can and can't pick up. A diamond Sutra? Why would someone put this on the wall? I'm not familiar with Buddhist teachings. Me neither, honestly. Me neither. Can we have a look at this? It's just a dirty raincoat, yeah. Musty smell is horrifying. <laughs> and this? I would never wear this. Well, <laughs> I wasn't suggesting you wear that. Looks like a little stove or something. I don't know. It's a, <laughs> it's a kerosene heater. We used it last winter. Yeah, and you don't wear it. Good. Huddling around it and having a good time. Good memories. Good memories. But why did they all abandon you? Uh, alright. Well, I guess let's... I don't know how you use it. Is it that? Nope. 
Drag. Ah, there you are. Drag items from inventory. Interact with objects. I thought that might be the way you did it. I've got to say, so far so good. Can't tell if a part two is going to happen, but it seems like it might. Okay, and so that would lead to the front gate, and that's where I want to go. Okay, so let's just keep exploring. I don't really want to leave quite yet. Let's at least explore the rest of the floor. What do we got over here? What's this? Mr. Cow sometimes sleeps in here. It's locked, like a lot of the other doors. I don't think anyone's in there. What about this notice board? Anything interesting? Well, there is a public announcement, maybe. Due to our ongoing war with mainland China, Instructor Bai is asking students to rat out anyone who may be pro-communist or show signs of treachery. There are big rewards for informants. Well, if you ever need an incentive... Hmm. There you are. And that's it? Okay, just results of competitions and stuff. Praise the great president. Yeah, sure, sure. I like this, you know. I, I really do. And yeah, the more I play it, the more it is reminding me of the cat lady. And I think it's just the look of the characters. It's weird. Um, anyway, can we use this? Brilliant, it's not locked. Huh, so do we actually get to leave the school? So, next stop, home, I guess. Or do I really want to be outside? Maybe staying in the school during a typhoon is probably the best course of action. And the game's called Detention. I think I'll be sticking around. The shortest route back home is through the auditorium. Enter? Well, I guess so. Who's that? Is that Miss Yen? No, that's not Miss Yen. Okay, I was pretty certain that was going to be a cutscene. It's just a nice way of sort of zooming the camera in. Sure, well, um, yeah. Let's climb up onto the stage and have a look at this. Who is that? Somebody else who slept through a drama class, maybe? I guess we can chat. Hello? Wake up! You shouldn't be here! Is she okay? Um, where am I? The auditorium. You were sleeping on the stage. Huh? School is cancelled because a typhoon is coming. A typhoon? I just came from my classroom. You're the first person I've come across. Weird. H how did I... We should get going. It's getting dark in here. And the rain is starting to pour. Wait. My necklace is gone. What? Have you seen my necklace? I don't think so. How? I must have lost it somewhere. You want to find your necklace? I'm not leaving without it, she says. Alright. So I guess it's old Muggins here who has to find it. Fair enough. What's the deal with the chair? It's odd seeing the classroom chair over here. Is it for a school play? Maybe. Would that be the great president by any chance? Or the principal, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Is she only wearing one shoe? Or oh, no, my no. I think that's just weird lighting. Uh, right. Let's go down and let's have a look for this necklace, I suppose. Because yeah, she's wondering how she lost it. Let's try this door. Sure. Go on. What's up with the fan? Uh, well, I can have a look at it. It's an old exhaust fan, and the power is off. There is a dim sound coming from the end of the vent shaft, and actually I can see something. Is that a necklace? I think it's a key, actually. Something is in there, but I can't reach it. Right, okay. This would probably be where I would use an item to, to reach it somehow, like a coat hanger. Um, sure, sure. I guess let's back away. Yep. This is all very intuitive so far. Maybe it's because I've played many games like this before, but the controls seem very, very slick. this. There's colour to it, you see. Flagpoles and class signs. This stuff is used during our school assemblies. Right. There's an umbrella. Ah, oh, right. Well, you know what? I am going to take the umbrella. It's a typhoon, right? So, <laughs> Oh, it's broken. 
Ah, oh, but maybe... Maybe I didn't need a coat hanger. Maybe I just needed the end of the umbrella, right? Yeah? You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> cool. I like this game so far. A white jade deer pendant. Was that what she was after? I hope so. I'll... I'll... I'll see what she says anyway, so yeah. Anything else? Bit of a dead end, I'm afraid. That's it. Wait, is there something more? Ah, oh, there's nothing else here. Okay. Okay, yep, let's leave. Can't read the writing on the wall. Uh, okay, let's just continue exploring, I suppose. We have a, um, a jacket here. Yeah, it's some odds and ends and an old military jacket, but there's nothing special. Probably should try and give her the uh, the necklace. There you go. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm going to cut you off. Yeah, down to the lighting and I suppose the shadows in this game. It looks like we both chose different shoes for different feet. Right. Does that work? Is this the necklace? You found it. That's awesome. Thank you. Hey, there you go. Easy as that. W where did you find it? In the storage room next to the stage. Behind a fan. It seems like someone threw it into a vent in there. What? Why would it be in such a place? Well, forget it. You found it anyways. Let's get going before the rain gets heavy. Sure. Alright. Um... I don't know where we need to go, to be honest. I guess this is the route to the front gate, right? This is the this is the best way out of here. I did walk past a door over here, though. That we can't actually get to. What's this, though? It's a full-length mirror. Makes me want to check... <laughs> makes me want to double-check if my shirt's tucked in. Yeah, I suppose. And that's where we came in from, so yeah, I guess we've got to go to the other double doors. Is she waiting over there for me? <laughs> I think so. Okay, let's get out of here. It is raining pretty hard. Hey, there you go. Hey, it's the Banyan tree, right? It's probably been here long before people settled on this mountain. So someone was standing, like, right there, just beyond the fence. Hmm. Okay. This game's been getting very well reviewed, by the way. Uh, I think a few people have said it's like the best horror game they've played in years, so... I've got high hopes for this. What's that? This rock's been sitting here for quite some time now. People say it fell off a small temple on the mountain. Really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's just got a nice style, really. It's very appealing to me. And this is the security office by the main gate. Even the guard left for home. Wow. But here's the exit. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Detention's over. What? The bridge collapsed? No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Wow, a river of blood or something. Oh, God. Why is the river red? This looks like... It kind of looks like blood. Blood? Don't say that! Sorry, I wasn't thinking. What happened? Okay, let's calm down and think about it. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. Hmm. Why is it red? Even muddy water shouldn't be this color. Ah. I think I know the cause of this. There are a few factories located upstream. It's probably them dumping chemical waste into the river, under cover of the typhoon. Are you sure? I've heard people talking about it. Perhaps you're right. The worst part is, we don't have a way to go downhill now with the bridge gone. Tons of people cross this bridge every day. This bridge should have been better maintained. Guess we have to head back to school. <laughs> there you go. It won't do us any good standing here in the middle of the rain. I knew we weren't going to leave quite yet. Not with those locked doors out there. True. 
Don't worry. It's just a, ty just a typhoon. The school has enough supplies for us to get through the storm. All right. I guess I can trust you. You seem like a reliable person. Just trying to be optimistic. Let's get going, then. And yeah. I mean, it, it is just a very big storm, right? Um, the building looks sturdy enough. Makes sense. <sighs> All wet and tired. What a day. Just rest up for now. We may have to spend the night here. Oh, wait. I haven't officially thanked you for finding my necklace for me. I'm Fang Ray Shin, a senior from Miss Yin's class. You can call me Ray. How about you? What grade are you in? So you're my senior. Miss Fang, I'm Wei Chung Ting. You don't have to be formal with me. It's a bit awkward. Just Ray is fine. Normally we don't go to the senior building. I heard that it's a very competitive environment where everyone works their butt off studying. <laughs> it's not that awful. Some of us still do what we want. I do envy you for graduating. Soon you won't have to see Guo Fong on a daily basis anymore. Instructor Bai? I don't even dare call him by his whole name. Rumor says he was a relentless killer during the war. I wouldn't dare do that in front of him either. We're all pretty terrified of him. We avoid him any possible way we can. Ahem. Hey you! Come here! Why are you hiding from me? Are you affiliated with the commies? Wow. That was a perfect imitation. Giving me goosebumps. <laughs> Anyways, just hang on tight, buddy. It'll be your turn to graduate next year. <sighs> Life's a struggle. Hey, I know what we can do. Let me go use that phone in the principal's office. See if I can contact anybody. Then I'll grab that heater in the storage room and a couple of blankets from the health center. That should be enough for us to get through the night. That's a well thought out plan. Do you need any help? I'll be fine on my own. No, you won't be fine on your own. Take her with you. <sighs> you should rest up here, Mrs. The man's got it under control. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Hold on there now. Don't take me as one of those spoiled, pampered girls. I'm probably more capable than most of you boys. Sorry, that came out the wrong way. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I know you're just trying to help. Okay, how about this? I'll go make the phone call. Then we can find what we need together and carry them back. All right, that sounds good. I'll wait for you right here. Just hurry back. It's getting real dark in here. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's a nice little arrangement, I suppose, but I, I, <laughs> I can't help but feel something bad's gonna happen. Um, okay, so the phone call. The principal's office. Uh, I, I know it's, if I go out here, it's on the sort of left side of the building on the first floor, isn't it? On the ground floor. What happened to the door? Whoa. Okay. What's going on? Oh, I can't stop running. I'm disappeared. What the hell? What happened? His footsteps echoed softly, invoking a trace of suspense in me. Alright. Reality faded away as time stood still. I swallowed hard as the emptiness confined me. Is that me? What? Ah! Am I dead? Why? Why? What happened? I have no idea. It looks like he's not breathing at all. Is he dead? But how? It looks like he actually has a, a mark around his throat. Maybe he was hanged. The right way up. Uh, he was fine just a moment ago. Oh my god. I just met you. Tell me this is only a bad dream. I'm sure it's not. Okay, Ray. Take a deep breath. Uh-huh. Alright. There's a notebook on the stage. It's Wei's journal. Ah, we've got his notebook then, I suppose. Is he actually dead? Is the main character dead? I'm playing as her now, I guess? Uh, sorry, I'm looking through it earlier. Perhaps there are clues to what happened. Yeah, maybe. 
Right, yeah, I've got the necklace now, and I've, I've got... I've got this. Well, this is different. He's got a fortune-telling poem uh, from the temple that says, Turn the will with the laws of the universe to reveal the path ahead. Whatever that means. And uh, that's actually our first clue. So we've still got the notes from before as well, which is pretty interesting, but this is actually a clue to an upcoming puzzle, I guess. Nice. Everything about this is sort of hitting me the right way. What do we got? What's going on here? What a nightmare. Right, can we get him down? Um, maybe? I guess we can use an item here. <laughs> do you want your notebook back? Wait, what if he wears the necklace? Ah, oh, it doesn't do anything! Ah, oh, damn, alright, um... Is there anything I can actually interact with? Open his mouth, his eyes... No. Damn. <laughs> I, I was expecting something bad to happen to this guy, but not quite so soon, jeez. Um, right. So, w are we in the auditorium again? And bloody hell, it's dark. Can we grab a candle or something? I mean, what, what are we doing? I guess we can't leave, can we? Oh. Wait. Oh, I can take this one with me. This should light the way, I hope so. Great. Great, okay. Still got the jacket there? Has anything changed? I mean, uh, is this a Silent Hill Otherworld scenario that we're going through here or something? Oh, hang on. I know this jacket. It belongs to Mr. Cow. Who was sleeping in one of the rooms, right? That was locked, I think. Can we go in here still? Yes, okay. Right. Okay, there's something else odd with the fan. What's going on? Oh, okay. Couple things. What's this? Another scrunched up piece of paper. There's a note on the book club. Alright. Conversation. Hey, I heard a teacher starting a club for the students and are reading some prohibited books. Really? I thought that the book club was just a place for studying. I guess it really depends on what kind of books you're reading. Prohibited, why? For political reasons? Probably. Alright. Okay. What's this? Is that a the rat? No, sorry, it's a dead mouse. No wonder it smells so bad in here. Well, it only died in the last, like, five minutes. <laughs> That's really, really weird. Although I don't know how long I was out. Um, did we? I guess we didn't have that umbrella. Did we leave it back here? I mean, do we want to get the dead mouse out? Probably not. Still got these flags here, of course. I used to admire the flag bearer. I thought it was the coolest job. Now I just want to get away from all this. Yeah, I can understand that. Nothing in there. Filled with trash. And that's it. No umbrellas. I think we're just going to have to leave the mouse in the vent. Okay, so that's that. Um, can we go outside? Yes. Oh, it's changed. This is cool, you know. That's where that guy was standing. In that old photograph. There's another one over here. Another little gravestone. Yeah, why is there a grave here? The engravings on the tombstone were all rubbed off. Hmm. Weird. That wasn't there either. What is that? So it's a shrine, yeah. When was this built? Worshipping a few deities? I don't recognize any of them other than the Earth God. Huh. What's that thing next to the incense burner? Oh, an auditor oh, an auditorium key. I guess there was a locked door in there. And there's also a note under the key. What's this? Facing the lingered. Okay. And again, this is a clue, not a note. Alright, this is going to help me out then. It seems like a page from a children's book. Don't be scared when you see the lingered. Just hold your breath and quietly walk away. Alright. Let's go this way. <laughs> oh, I can't! No, the trail downhill has disappeared! Okay, well I've got the auditorium key. I guess there was a locked door in there. Oh my. Ah. But in this case, I, don't, I guess I don't want to walk away. I... 
Right, holding my breath. Oh god, I don't like this at all, man. How 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 close do I need to to get when I'm holding my breath? How close can I get? Can I can I just walk right past her? I guess. Let's try it. Let's try it. What's she eating down there? Right past her. She doesn't notice me. It's like she detects breath or something. And I got a release very soon, I think. <laughs> was about to pass out. Bloody hell. Alright. So we have to deal with the lingered in this game. Nice. So which door was locked? Okay, he's still there. I was expecting his body to be gone for some reason. I don't know why. Um, well, there was a door behind the sign before. I don't think we can use that. I guess it was the double doors. Has the sign changed? I hope I can wake up from this nightmare. Oh, it was a mirror, sorry, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. So, locked? The door is locked, okay. Not for long. Okay. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. Wait, what? I guess we're just straight back at school. That's fine. Um, that must be the principal's office, where I was trying to get to his way. Uh, I think that was here, right? Who can be calling at a time like this? Perhaps I can get some help. Perhaps. Okay. <laughs> get ready to hold your breath, Ray. I don't think it's here. Ah, there it is. Way said he was going to try and get a hold of the townspeople. Maybe they're calling back. Yeah. I guess she doesn't know that he sort of disappeared en route. Hello? I'm a student from Greenwood High. Someone here was found dead. Please send help. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Fine. I am waiting for you in the counselor's office. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> what in the world is going on? Who was that? How did you know it was me? The counselor's office is on the third floor. The floor I didn't actually explore at all, okay. How high is this building? Okay. <laughs> sure. What else we got in here? Another flag, book. What's that? This is an altar for praying. Oh, and it's also where I save my progress. Okay, um, yeah. Why not? I guess this isn't a bad place to save. Thank you very much for watching what I believe is going to be the first part of a new series. Uh, I'm really enjoying this so far and I want to see where it goes and hopefully you do as well. But let me know in the comments down below or by liking or disliking the video, okay? Maybe? See you in a part two. Oh, this is the principal's office. Right. Well, I did fall asleep during all the afternoon classes. Maybe I should just walk in and, and fess up. But it isn't locked. Oh, shit. Do you need any help? I'll be fine on my own. No, you won't be fine on your own. Take her with you. What happened to the door? Whoa. Okay. What's going on? Oh, I can't stop running. I'm disappeared. What the hell? Don't be scared when you see the lingered. Just hold your breath and quietly walk away. Alright. Let's go this way. <laughs> oh, I can't! No, the trail downhill has disappeared! It's like she detects breath or something. And I got a release very soon, I think. <laughs> was about to pass out. Bloody hell.